entry, all these rose bushes. Wow. Another beautiful winery. Do the tasting in there. And here we are, camped right here. Wine sales and wine tasting. All in this beautiful little building. Roses are red. us back out on the road short dirt road to the main road check out the water glassy a bit smoky look at the sun How good's that sunset over Stockton Lake? Magic.
This is a massive, massive excavation. So many machines in here digging. There's one up on the hill there. Get it. It's just up there. Try zooming in. That's maximum zoom. But it's the same as this one next to us. I'll go and get a close up of the one next to us in a minute. But it just this does it no justice, but it is just a massive hole. And it looks like they're backfilling it in. It's a bit. I seem to be bringing the excavated material back down and tipping it. And you're going over tipping. Backfilling. Backfilling for the people to start living. Mm, and then they'll just plant trees on it. And then in a hundred years they'll just trim them down. Here's one of the machines. Massive, look at the size of it. Hard to imagine how big that is. You probably won't get the feel for how big that is on the video. Look at the bucket on the end. Wow. Look at the tracks down there. Look through the fence. There we go. Here it is in operation back in its day. Apparently it's a electric rope shovel. Universally used in mines to remove waste material and ore, which is loaded into haul trucks to be cut at dump locations. Shovels are powered electrically via a 6,600 volt trailing power cable. The machine is propelled to the, on the tracks. The upper housing can swing around a central main pin, which in turn allows the boom and dipper handles to swing. The boom is suspended from the main section by suspension ropes, and the dipper movement, hoist, etc., is via hoist ropes connected to winding drums inside the shovel housing. There you go. And uh, apparently it weighs 850 tonnes, dipper capacity 50 tonnes, power supply, we said that already, operate over 30, moved, moved over 200 million tonnes of material, height from ground to operator's cab is nearly 10 metres, height from ground to top of boom point sheaves is nearly 17 metres, Whew, she's a big one. Decommissioned in 2010. Just camped at Big Brook Dam, which is going to go for a walk up to the dam. How good's that look? Nice easy walk to the dam. Close up of the fungus on the tree, look at that. It's huge. What's around the dam? Built in 1986 to buy water for Pemberton Water Supply and Aquaculture. Go for swim, paddle, canoe, walk around the dam, try your luck at fishing. Okay. Quite a big dam. It is a very big dam. 
six k's around, I think. Mm. Path. Right. So we're on the Ashfield now. We've got an Ashfield path all the way around the dam, apparently. Spent some money here. Beautiful. Fantastic forest journeys. Meet an international traveller. You can just see a bit of the river down there. It's just pretty dry. Not much water. The black ants have been very busy here creating this mound. Just out of nettles. I don't know if we can even see them. Almost at the damn wall. There's a bit of a beach over there. And there's a the damn wall. Made it to the damn wall. Water's a long way down. Mm. Someone left the tap turned on. Yes, very low tide. We are in a drought over here in WA. Let's zoom out here. He's waiting for the sausages. F Phil's down here cooking on the fire <laughs> and up on the tree right above us <laughs> is a little friend Jackie. just waiting for something to drop. 